What's up everybody, I'm Logan from sleepopolis.com and today I'll be reviewing the Sweet Night Mattress. I'll go over the support level of the mattress, what it's made of, run some tests and give my pros and cons. But for right now, let's talk about what the Sweet Night actually feels like. Now I do want to mention that Sweet Night actually makes a line of mattresses and the one I'm reviewing today is their 10 inch gel memory foam flippable mattress. Now it's flippable because on one side they have gel memory foam giving it like a softer feel and on the other side if you turn it over there's going to be a high density poly foam that's going to give it a firmer feel. I'll go over the materials a little later on in the review but I do want to talk now about what that means in terms of difference of feel. Now I'm currently on the soft side of the mattress and that has like a softer feel. I give it a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale so that's going to be better for kind of combo side sleepers things like that the firmer side of the mattress i give it like a seven and a half out of ten on the firmer scale which is going to be better for your back sleepers your stomach sleepers who need to keep their spine aligned in a little bit more of a uh, straight position while they're in those positions so like i said so if you're starting out on your back if you're a strict back sleeper i would definitely recommend going with the kind of firmer support of the firmer side of the mattress you're going to feel more on top of the mattress keep your spine aligned in a good position i think this the softer side that i'm on now is going to be okay for back sleepers if you like to get a little bit of that contouring feeling a little bit of that sinking into the mattress feeling that uh, memory foam is known for now if you're going to be a strict side sleeper someone who needs a little bit more pressure relief at the shoulders the hips things like that you're going to need to sink into the mattress a little bit more i would definitely recommend sticking with the softer side of this mattress firmer mattresses are going to give problems to side sleepers because you're going to get a little jammed up at the shoulders we're going to talk about pressure later on in the review i have a pressure map that'll show you kind of the difference between the soft and the firm side of the mattress but for right now, I just want to note that if you are a side sleeper, stick to the soft side of the mattress. Now, if you are a stomach sleeper, it's kind of the opposite. You need that firmer support. You need to keep your hips from sinking to the mattress so your spine is aligned in a good position. So I definitely say go with the firm side of the mattress. I would also say that regardless of the side of the mattress that you're on with the Sweet Night mattress, I found that the support level was okay for me, but if you are a bit on the heavier side, if you're in that 250 to 300 pound range, something like that, you're probably going to need a little bit more support than this mattress is going to provide. Now to give you a better idea of what's going on inside the Sweet Night mattress, I've unzipped the cover so you can see the materials used in the layers of it. First up, the cover is a pretty thin polyester cover. It's nothing uh, too much to write home about. It should be pretty breathable because it is so thin, so it's gonna help a little bit with cooling. Now underneath, I do wanna point out that uh, the Sweet Night is all foam, and like I said before, it is a flippable mattress. Right now we have the firm side of the mattress on top, so you can see it's this really firm, high density poly foam. Now high density poly foam is a really common material used in a lot of uh, bend to box mattresses and it's usually used as a support layer of the mattress. When you put it on top like this, it's gonna give you that firm feel I was talking about before that's gonna help to keep your uh, spine line in a good position when you're on your back or your stomach. But as you can see, it's got firm feel, not a lot of sink into it, so it's gonna give you that kind of jammed up feeling on your side. Now this middle layer here is kind of the support core of the mattress. It's a bit of a transition, I guess, depending on which side you're on. It's another layer of high density poly foam, so it's about the same firmness as the uh, firm feel mat side of the mattress that's on top right now. Uh, so again, firmer feel, support for the mattress. When you have this side of the mattress up, you're definitely gonna feel um, a lot firmer support. Now at the bottom is the uh, gel memory foam that's used as the comfort layer for the soft side of the mattress. You can see it's got that classic slow response to pressure that memory foam is known for. Uh, when it's on the bottom, it's not the best for support. Um, you will still have the firm feel, but when it's on top, you're gonna sink into the mattress. You're gonna get that contouring around your body that's really nice for pressure relief for side sleepers. You know, they do use a gel infusion into the mattress because um, uh, memory foam can be known for uh, sleeping a bit hot, so by putting that gel infusion, it will help to kind of mitigate that a little bit. Uh, so again, depending on which side of the mattress is up, you're gonna get a different feel. Right now, it's the firm side up. You can see that quick response and firmer feel, and on the bottom, it's the soft side, so that's gonna be that slower response, better pressure relief. Now, instead of just taking my word on what the Sweet Night is all about, I like to run a few tests on every mattress that I review so you can get a more objective view on what the mattress is all about. So the first one I run is the pressure mat portion of the review, and I ran it on both the firm and soft side of this flippable mattress so you get to see a bit of a side-by-side -side comparison. Now, lying on my back, with my weight pretty evenly distributed. I would say it's not gonna show too much difference here. You know, my with my weight distributed like that, there's not a ton of pressure in any one location. I would say, though, like I said before, if you're on the memory phone, side, the softer side, you will feel yourself sinking into the mattress a little bit more, a little bit of that classic memory foam contouring around your body. Now rolling onto my side is where you really start to see some differences. Uh, like I said before, 
Firm mattresses are not gonna be great for these slide sleepers out there because you will have some pressure points forming. We do see that here on the pressure mat portion of the review. You can see that while I'm on the firmer side of the mattress, there is some higher pressure at the shoulder area. Now, over time, that can cause you to have some issues of feeling jammed up in that location. So like I said, if you are a uh, strict side sleeper, someone who needs to sink really deep in the mattress, I would not recommend firmer mattresses. I would definitely stick to the softer side of the sweet night in that situation. Now, rolling onto my stomach, again, my weight's pretty spread out across the mattress in this position and you don't see any specific location where there's higher pressure in uh, like on the pressure map but I do feel my hips sinking into the mattress when I'm on the softer side uh, while I'm on my stomach so if you are a stomach sleeper or you end up sleeping for uh, a good portion of the night on your stomach I would stay away from softer mattresses definitely the softer side of this in general definitely go with the firmer feel the firmer support so that your uh, spine is lined in a better position now, another test that I run is a bounce test, and that's basically to see if you're going to kind of feel stuck in the mattress while you're changing positions. If you roll around during the middle of the night, you don't want to have to feel trapped in the layers of the mattress. I gotta say, there's really not much bounce to this mattress, regardless of the side that you have up. You know, Sweet Night does have some hybrid options, which might interest you a little bit more if you need a little bit of bounce to the mattress. Now, the last test that I'm gonna mention here is uh, kind of going in line with that bounce test. It's a motion transfer test, and basically what that means is I put a seismometer down on the mattress where you might be sleeping and on the other side of the mattress uh, I drop a 10 pound steel ball from heights of 4, 8, and 12 inches and that's going to stimulate if you sleep with a partner uh, if they're rolling around during the middle of the night if they get into and out of bed to go to the bathroom or anything like that and the seismometer checks to see how much disturbance is transferred with each drop to see if you're going to be disturbed while they're moving around during the middle of the night and I gotta say, I was actually pretty impressed with the ability of the Sweet Night to isolate that motion transfer. You know, it isn't a bouncy mattress, so it's kind of absorbing that bounce so that it doesn't kind of transfer across the mattress. I don't think the edge support is great on this mattress, so it's not the best mattress for couples, but if you do sleep with a partner and they roll around in the middle of the night, I think it's going to dampen down on that a little bit so it won't bother you as much. Now, before I end the review, I do want to give you some of my pros and cons for the Sweet Night mattress. So first up, recommendations on why I think you should go for it is if you're looking for a firm foam feel. If you are a stomach or back sleeper, you need that firmer support and not a lot of the foam mattresses out there give you that firm feel you might be looking for. So I think if you're looking at the firm side of the Sweet Night mattress, it's a good choice uh, for that nice support to keep your spine aligned in a good position. I would also say it's available on Amazon, which is a huge plus. So if you are someone who's just uh, doing a lot of your shopping on there, you need it delivered in a couple of days. That's a really big plus for the shopping experience for Sweet Night. Now, some of my cons or complaints about the Sweet Night mattress are that it lacks bounce. If you're someone who changes positions, you need more of that traditional bouncy mattress feel, you're not gonna get it from the Sweet Night mattress. I did feel a little stuck on the memory foam side of the mattress, so you wanna be careful about that. I would also recommend watching out for, um, if you're a bit on the heavier side, if you're that 250, 300 pound plus range, you're not gonna get the support out of this mattress that you might be looking for. You definitely need to find something that's gonna support your back a little bit better so you don't wake up with aches and pains. And I would also uh, watch out for the fact that when I was doing this review, not all sizes of this mattress were available. I really only saw the uh, queen and king size that might change in the future, but it doesn't uh, you know, really stand out as a positive that not all the sizes of this mattress are available on their website. So if you are interested in buying the Sweet Night mattress, I do wanna give you some basic information on that process. There is a 30-day return policy, so you can try it for a few weeks before you decide whether you wanna keep it or send it back. Uh, there is a 10-year warranty on the mattress. You'll, of course, wanna check out exactly what that covers on their website, but that's pretty much the standard for the online bed in a box market. Uh, shipping is free, it will arrive compressed in a box. In terms of price, the queen size version of this mattress comes in at $548. So that's it for my review of the Sweet Night Mattress. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. Now, if your mattress search continues and you wanna see my top picks, you can Google Sleepopolis and Best Mattress to see my favorite mattresses of 2019. And be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our sleep news or giveaway announcements. And check out sleepopolis.com for all of your sleep needs.